Yo, JD here, to Limus, and as you can see by the title of the video here today, this is going to be quite a different kind of video, and this is something I've really, really wanted to do for a very, very long time now, and this is pretty much what I was looking for when I first started YouTube, or before I started YouTube, I've know, I know I've told the story a few, quite a few times now, but before I did YouTube, that's what I used to look for, because believe it or not, when I first started playing F1 games, I was not a great player, I was not considered to be fast or one of the top runners, I was probably one of those average guys who was coming midfield, never getting pole positions, never getting on podiums, and I was pretty much just bored, and um, well, not bored, but just sick and tired of it, I wanted to be one of the best people, I wanted to win races and because I'm a really competitive person I hate, I absolutely hate losing so I was so so desperate for me um, to improve and as you can see in the video now this is the setup I'm using for this gameplay which is a pretty nice setup which I've been using offline quite a lot recently, I haven't really been, I haven't been playing online in this game but offline whenever I've been using it has been um, working pretty nice for me but um, moving back to what I was saying um, I, I wanted to improve, I wanted to win races, I wanted to win the leagues I was doing it because I was so so stoked when I first got invited to doing league racing that's what I wanted to do, I wanted to win and this series or these videos that I'll be doing here for F1 2015 tips and hopefully on future games as well is as I said there's something I really really wanted to do because not many people will, I haven't really seen anyone do this I've seen people do setup videos which setup videos are great and hot laps they're absolutely yeah they're, they're absolutely great they can help you a lot with the setup but in my personal opinion it's probably 80% of the drive and 20% of setup anyway on most games and one lap pace does not win you races in my opinion it's the consistency the strategy and just how you mentally approach uh, the races I know that sounds really gay but that's just me being completely honest and that's what I'll be doing for each of um, these videos in this series I won't be just doing just specifically the track but I'll be doing individual aspects of itself so this one's just going to be about how I actually learn tracks how I approach races in league racing learning the tracks some other ones could be about different types of corners or uh, individual corners and then it can be about the tracks it can be about a lot of things but um, Hopefully you guys can put that in the comments of what you want to see. And normally I don't ask for likes or certain other likes, but if we could get 200 likes or more in this video, then that would really show me that people really do want to see this, and um, of me can, can continuing to do this. And if anyone has any suggestions of anything they want to see, if it could be trail breaking, a pad cam, a certain track, anything like that, um, just put it in the comments below, and then whoever gets the most likes in the comments, then I'll be doing a video on that. But Moving on to the actual topic of this video, um, this tip video that I'll be doing here today and this is how I approach tracks and for me this is something I've been using for the past couple of years now or year and a half and it's been working wonders for me until my connection blew up on last game, um, it was working so so well for me and this gameplay here is pretty much what I, I did, I used to go into a private lobby with someone in Tyrrell, Tyrrell Maisie, or Tyrrell Martin, someone I could trust pretty much and I used to just put in a, a lot of fuel and I just used to do laps. I normally used to do just the first stint. I pretty much never did qualifying and that's my first tip. If you want to be successful in races and league races and not even league races but career mode if you're doing that or anything at all um, in terms of the F1 games or in terms of getting a good results and I would say don't stop doing qualifying, but don't make it a priority. Like one lap pace does not win you races. I know you still have to be fast, but this is just my opinion. One lap pace does not win you races because there's a lot of people who are really, really quick. I know loads of people who are probably quicker than me on one lap pace. But when it gets into a race situation where you have to go wheel to wheel, you have to think about the strategy, you have to get into that rhythm, you have to be consistent, really just build that momentum lap after lap and really just not lose your focus, then they kind of crumble and kind of choke because they haven't put themselves in that situation. And that's why I practice this way because I really like to put myself in that situation. And when I do these practice sessions, that's what I do. I really pretty much just drive into the tires, just fall off the car. And that's what I did in 2014. And at the end of 2013, when I felt I really did come into my own, um, I used to just drive the first stint until my tires actually just blew up or just 
I spun or hit the wall or I just couldn't control the car you know, because then that reassured me when I actually went into the race I know exactly what strategy to do and how the car would actually feel because if you're just in one lap pace you're only going to know how the car feels when it's the easiest to drive you're not going to know how it feels with this heavy fuel when the tyres go go off and you wheel to wheel someone you're not going to know how to really feel or drive the car so really just focusing on emphasising on the race is definitely a major major tip for me um, also as well it's just not really to push it 100% each lap. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but it's better to really just preserve yourself and maybe lose a couple of attempts a lap than rather really pushing it and making a huge mistake where you make where you lose a second or something. And again, that really just links into getting in the rhythm of the race because I really feel momentum. I know I've spoken about it in videos before. Momentum is a huge, huge factor because if you're starting to pull away from someone just that tiny bit each lap, it is so, so difficult for someone else to really just break that down unless you make a mistake. So if you're just being consistent, if you're driving 80 or 90% of the time, then that is really going to help you, not just in terms of results, but just mentally as well, because you know you've got that little bit extra just in case. And that's what I did, really, just focusing to these races and learning the tracks. It's just doing lap after lap. It's just being repetitive and consistent. You, if you're just doing lap after lap, then you, you're eventually going to know where to brake. You're, know, you're going to know how the car feels in certain corners and what kind of track it is. Because I believe there's tracks that you really should attack and there's tracks I believe you should go in slow in, fast out. And I think this is a slow in, fast out, fast out kind of track for me. Um, I really just put those tracks into two different types of just a pure, just attacking like Suzuka, I'd say, is a really, really attacking kind of track. Same with Silverstone, which I do enjoy. But then there's track up, tracks like this where I really feel it's slow and fast out as well. So just really determining what kind of track it is as well. And really, as I've just been saying, just to get put yourself in that racing situation. Because so, there's so many people who just don't do that. And then they wonder why, when they actually get into the race, that they it, it feels alien to them. Because they just haven't been doing it. They've just been doing the qualifying. And don't get me wrong, qualifying is so important. But you do not win races through qualifying it depends maybe for at monaco or something but you just really do not win races through qualifying so those are my tips for approaching tracks let me know in the comment section if you want to see any other tips or anything else specific if you liked the video don't forget to leave a like and i'll see you next time cheers